Good morning, Bulldogs. This is Sammy, here to show you everything new about the school. But first, here's my co-host, Caitlin, to lead us in the morning pledge in the moment of silence. Good morning, McCracken. I'm Caitlin, a sixth grader here at McCracken. Let's get today started. Please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance with me and then pause for, for the moment of silence afterwards. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of, of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Did you know our PTO store is back open? You go to the McCracken PTO's Facebook page and there's a link. There's also a link on our Facebook page. And here it is if you want to write it down, H-E-M-M -M Bulldogs PTO dot Wix site dot com. Um, I know the weather's changing and a lot of people are looking for sweatshirts. So they've got some back in that they are working on printing. So be sure to check out the Bulldog gear. Our character trait for words of, for the month of October are courage and tolerance. These are the qualities your teachers are looking for in the students of the, this month. Students of the month for October will be treated to a cotton candy party hosted by Cornerstone Church of Bluffton. Teachers, please make sure you have submitted a student of the month for October. Here are our sports updates for fall sports this week. The football team is practicing Monday and Tuesday after school until 6 o'clock for their playoff practices. This Wednesday night, our football team will play against Ladies Island Middle School in the first game of playoffs. The game will be held over at Beaufort High School football field at 7 o'clock. So come out to cheer on our Bulldogs in their playoff game. Please remember our county's clear bag policy and social distancing for all games. Tickets for all games will are $4 each. If you're interested in joining the wrestling team, Coach Dixon will be having another interest meeting on Thursday at 8.15 in the gym. So if you have any questions or need to clarify anything, please see Coach Dixon. Again, that meeting is at Thursday, 8.15 in the gym. The woohoo cart will be coming around this Wednesday from the PTO. If you're a student living in Beaufort County who wants to show your appreciation for members of the United States Armed Forces, we have a way for you to do that through using your artistic expression. Enter the 2021 Beaufort County Department of Veteran Affairs poster contest. The deadline for this contest is coming up quickly. It will be due this Friday, October 22nd. This poster contest aims to highlight the impact of our relationships with military men and women that we admire. Posters should focus on the theme, My Military Hero. Selected submissions will be featured in their celebration, which will be on Veterans Day, November 11th, which is on a Thursday when we're out of school. And that will be a ceremony that they will be holding in downtown Beaufort at the Waterfront Park. The BCDVA seeks creative imagery to celebrate men and women who have served our country, have a strong sense of place, and use descriptive language. The contest is open to students enrolled in any school in Beaufort County. This would include public, private, charter, Department of Defense schools. They only accept original, unpublished artwork, and all submissions should include a cover page with your name, address, email, phone number, and school, which I can help you do here in the Media Center. If you would like to enter this contest, as many of you are fabulous with your artwork, remember the theme, My Military Hero. Make sure you turn it in by this Friday and come see Miss Sunday in the Media Center so we can get your cover page ready. Don't forget about the daily reading log for the Surge Reading Challenge. We have copies of the reading log just inside the doors of the Media Center. This way, this is a way to get free rewards for your independent reading. Tutoring will be offered on Tuesday and Thursday mornings from 7.30 until 8.15. Students will then be able to go get breakfast. There is no transportation provided for morning tutoring. Afternoon tutoring will be held on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays from 4 o'clock to 5.30. A snack will be provided. Transportation will be provided on the bus. This fall, we are having a cardboard house building contest. 
You simply must bring your creative design this Friday, October 22nd to the Media Center. Please make sure your first name and last name are clearly printed on the base along with your grade level. Entries must be no larger than two feet in size since these will be placed on top of our shelves for display. Winners will receive gift certificates for our upcoming Scholastic Book Fair in November. First period teachers, make sure to send in your lunch counts for this morning. Our school will celebrate Unity Day this year on Wednesday, October 20th. Students and staff are invited to wear orange tops with uniform bottoms to, to school to sh show your support of standing up to bullies here at school. Last year, yearbooks are on sale for $20 each. We have a limited amount of copies available. Please take the $20 to Miss Caney, our school bookkeeper, to purchase. Her office is located across the main hallway from the guidance. New Year book orders can also now be placed for $35 each. You will also need to pay Miss Caney your deposit for a yearbook from the 2021 to 2022, the school year. Our NJHS club is having a fundraiser this fall. They are selling boograms this month, which are bags filled with popcorn. You can purchase this for yourself or send to someone as a treat. They will be selling these at each entrance Kiva area. Please see Miss McMahon in room 403 if you have any questions. Have a great day, Bulldogs. We hope you have an awesome day. Remember to do whatever it takes. Go Bulldogs! Mm -hmm.